Holy crap. Ah, we're taking on water. We're taking on water. Ah, hey, Russell, welcome. Hey, Russell. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to Raspberry Rock, where I continue to be Russell, the guy who pretends to know what he's doing, sometimes. Anyway, today, fun project, I want to build a duck raft, or a goose raft, whatever decides to, you know, use it. Um, I've been looking forward to this, I think it's going to be kind of fun, and it'll be neat um, if we can get some geese nesting out here, because typically ducks and geese, they'll wander the pond. Um, the geese never stay to nest. They, they'll they check out various areas, points around here, and then they take off. Love to have some geese on the pond actually nesting. My buddy Ray said uh, suggested this styrofoam uh, insulation, and I thought, oh, I think I have some somewhere. And he said, yeah, get, get some two-inch stuff if you don't. And I just happened to have, like, two full sheets of two-inch two inch insulation. So there you go. It's perfect. And I got some pallets. I think I'm going to use those, and um, we're going to dress it up a little bit. Anyway. Come along with me. Follow me along, as I usually say. I think I'm going to try and do this on the dock. Um, it's going to be a little awkward because there's not a lot of space there. But the idea I like is just kind of, once I'm kind of done getting it ready, I just kind of flip it over into the water. I could do it on shore that over there somewhere. It might be a little easier, a little less awkward, but more awkward to actually put it together if you're not on a flat surface. And there's no way I'm going to carry this down there if I did it up here. So let's do this. <clears throat> I brought it back up here so I could try a few pallets on it before I take it down there. Pallets, of course, is what I want to use. I thought before I haul the pallets all the way down to the dock, I just want to make sure that it's going to work. I'm just going to lay it out here. Oh, that's almost perfect right there. But is that the way I want it? Upside down, that would be the other way. This one's the same size, I think. Well, I guess I could put boards on top to support the end there if I wanted it that long, or I could just cut it off and make it this long, which I think is probably what I'm going to do. I did this anyway because now I know I'm not using that third pallet. <laughs> Let's get a score at more than that.
Well, it's a good thing it's not a windy day. I would have went right in the drink there. Not this time. Willow! I said not this time! Something just occurred to me, it's... Without the pallets attached to each other, it's just gonna do this sort of thing as I try and toss it overboard. Uh, I'm gonna have to do something about that. Never noticed this before that there's a massive tree underneath here. Good thing we didn't hit it with one of the posts. Anyway, I, I bought a couple of bracers. I don't want to make this thing too heavy. I want it to be fairly buoyant. Be nice if I was able to walk on it afterwards. asking me when I'm going to go swimming in this pond. Today might be the day. Not on purpose. Not on purpose. Gorgeous day. where it gets tricky. Can you just sit it like that? Can you just sit it like that? Nobody move? Stop, Russell. I don't know. This is kind of loosey goosey.
I'm regretting not doing this on land now. This thing's just gonna sink right to the bottom. <laughs> and we'll come out here on the dock and look over and go, oh, no n ducks are nesting on it, on the bottom of the pond. <laughs> I wonder why. What's wrong with those ducks? More stable now. Ow! <laughs> so, I have all these PVC odds and ends. That looks like an inch and a half, an inch to an inch and a half, uh, from a previous solar power installation. In fact, it was on our previous house. And I brought a lot of it for no other reason than maybe I would fix up my wiring sometime. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into little pieces, like a foot long, so we can dress up the raft. Doesn't that look delightful? Alicia came out and did that on her lunch break. Grabbed a bunch of stuff. And we can also do the bigger pieces you know like branches like this and then even put still get in some of the some of this stuff in there as well so we have something like this Ooh, what duck wouldn't want to get it on when you got this around yeah or goose yeah but I gotta cut it all up and then I've also got all the fasteners I saved them that was smart uh, yeah and then what we'll do in the bottom, I cut this into like three sections, I think. What we'll do in the bottom is we can just stuff some moss in there to hold things from dropping at the bottom, and it will also allow water to go through if it gets rain in there. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's do this. I'm excited. Are you excited? I know you are. You can see it in your eyes. It's not working. Something like that. Don't you dare. Something like that. <sighs> Be a lot closer to the edge, couldn't it? Sixteen more to go. Moss. I don't know how to do the other side now. I think it's going to sit very nicely. Okay. Hey. 
no! Saved. A bit shaky. <laughs> uh, help! 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 Ah, I can do this. It was nice doing it straight down, but I can do it from the side. And now it is time for the piece of resistance. Uh, in other words, we're gonna see if this sucker floats before we do anything more. And I wanna see how high it floats in the water, assuming it does float, because I wanna put ramps on it, which I'm still not sure how I'm gonna do. Uh, but yeah, it depends on how high it floats. So, <clears throat> try not to lose too much styrofoam. Place your bets. Place your bets. Will it float? Whoa! This whole thing just shook way too much. Right over the edge. Right over the edge. So the styrofoam doesn't catch. Okay. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Uh, I sense a flaw in my plan. <laughs> Come back! Ah! Uh, well, shit. There it goes. Oh god, the wind's got it now. Shit. Maybe it'll come close to the dock. I need a long stick. I need a long stick. still worried. No, Russell's got this. Yeah, boy. See, that was, that was all planned. Can you still see me? I oh, can't see me anymore. So who wants to make a bet whether I can stand on it? <laughs> Holy crap! Holy crap! Ah, we're taking on water! 
We're taking our water! Uh, Russell! We're taking our water! We're dying! We're dying! <sighs> okay. Alright. This thing didn't work with a crap. Come on, Russell. Need, need something. Time to dress this thing up a bit. Steady boy. Take a little more time than I thought. Holy Hannah, that was a lot of work, man. Way heavier and way more, way more roots than I thought there would be. Oh boy. boy, boy, boy. So you got to make a platform for the uh, ducks or geese to get up on top of there, especially the babies. The babies can't make it up on their own. So I spent some time trying to figure out various ways to do this. So I shaved off an angle on this 2x6. I figure if I put that like that. And then... Right on there like that. That's not too steep, I don't think. That looks good. <laughs> Sorry, she's gonna sink on me. do this part. <laughs> nice work. Yeah. Are those for me? <laughs> Just for you. Nobody's ever bought me brought me grass, grass before. <laughs>
It was black and orange. You still see it? Yeah. We see a fish. It's this big. Oh, it's a minnow. It doesn't look half dead. I mean, it's not swimming a lot. It's just sort of. We need a net. <laughs> That's a strainer. No, 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 no. Not that one. <laughs> Don't you have like a fishing net? Oh, who, who is that? Let me think. Oh, it's got big eyes. You sure it's not going to bite me? It's not going to bite you. I promise. <gasps> you got it! I got it! <laughs> oh, what is it? Oh, that's gross. That was gross. It's a sunfish. Really? Yeah, it is. Look at that Look yellow at how belly. Look pretty it is. That's red. Um, you got to show people. Yeah. Nice, can you see it? I can't tell if you can see it or not. Whoa. And City Girl caught it with her bare hands. Yay, let's get him back in the water. as I screw this to my leg. Well, this is good. This is really good. This might be the best project we've ever done. And if there's a duck or a goose out there who looks at this and doesn't immediately think, let's get it on, then what are we doing? Like, what is life? We might as well start over as amoebas, single-celled organisms, and we'll be like, yeah, this is good. Let's do it right this time. Yeah, I think this is going to work. Where are they? Right there. Okay, all right. We, we got a couple of uh, possible renters. So we're going to show them the place, talk about the, uh, the features, you know, um, get them to do a walkthrough. We'll, uh, 
we'll highball them on the rent and uh, they'll lowball us and we'll come to terms. You just gonna throw that in? Yep. Good. How are you going to get it out there? Oh, boat. We're going to boat. We're going to get a boat. We need a bigger boat. Okay. Okay, we're going to get a bigger boat. <laughs> okay, stay, Willow. You stay. No. Now we almost went in with you. Did. Got ducks on it the other day, so.
this is trailer stuff. <laughs> Well, ladies and germanthemums, that's it for this video. Hopefully we'll see some ducks and geese on there tonight, and that'll make it into this video. But if it not, well, maybe Friday's video, hopefully. So stick around until Friday. Don't go anywhere. Just keep watching YouTube till Friday, and then you can watch our video. Yeah. Come on, ducks, geese, get it on. There's a duck way out there, but he's by himself. We don't really want him getting it on by himself on the, la on the raft. Don't do that. Find your own nest for that sort of thing. That's not weird at all. Anyway, we'll see you guys. Peace out.